here we are at the Tijara Forge Palace talking to Amar Nath at his uh, premium property. It's just opened up again after the lockdown. So, uh, particularly with uh, uh, Tijara. Is this the more recent uh, renovated property? Or, uh, yeah, it, it opened in 2016. Right. So, it is uh, the, the most recent. But then, you know, even in Rana, we, we opened a wing, we do, so we are constantly doing, because we are such huge property. Sure. So the next time we come here, one of the wings which, you know, is currently under restoration or is half done. Yes. And uh, when you use a, a property which was not built to be a hotel, it was basically geared to look after one family. And now if you have, a, you know, 200 guests, then there are 200 families, so you have to cater to individual eating and so on. So the, the, from the point of view of um, you know, um, the problems of dealing with it, it is that there are people who come to the dining space because it's very large. So you can have four families eating, six families eating, but it's a huge hall and, and you're not sitting, you know, you're sitting 10 meters away, not two meters. But, uh, and then we staggered the timings. But there are some people who are much more, um, what is the word, paranoid, if I could say, and some rightfully so, they're elderly people. So we really geared up to get individual, because we didn't have room service, you know. We, we, we believe at Nimrana from the beginning, that when you come to this kind of property, you should actually step out of your house. And then you say, wow, I met such extraordinary people. They were neighbors or, you know, well, because like-minded people come here. People who love, um, a non-conformist destination, people who are not doing the Taj Mahal, you know, that kind. So it, it's, it's not the second degree of tourism in India, I think it's the third degree, which is the real degree. So if you stop in a village, it's not a village which is a tourist village where there are handicrafts selling. You can actually see people working, you know, churning butter, looking after their cows, buffalo. So it's like a real experience. And now, world over, the tourism is geared towards a real experience, you know. People want authentic, they want hygiene, you know. So if you can eat a nice uh, bajreki roti with a lesson and uh, onion chutney and garlic and onion chutney, then it's something you remember. Sure. Question, how have the four months of lockdown been for Nimrana Group, especially for uh, this property? Um, I think they've been equal for all the properties because once they're shut, they're shut. You know, we had to shut everything because that was the regular rules. Uh, but we are not, I think, easily traumatized in, 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 in Nimrana property because, um, or by Nimrana because we take on such daunting projects. If, you know, if anybody sees pictures of before uh, the, uh, what this was, uh, they'll realize that when it was put to tender, there was not one hotel group that dared to bid for it. So I think that if we are a daring, uh, then we, we, we can also be daring about everything. I think we have to be brave about whatever happens. Because our properties are non-hotel hotels, they're not corridor hotels, you know, you don't get into one, two, three, four rooms, you know, there's a difference, there's a balcony, there's open, there's individual air conditioning, and then you come a separate size in your car. That is a huge advantage, because then if you have to catch a flight to go to another state and get off and go in or a train or a bus or whatever when it starts, so we have all those advantages and on top of it we we got those four months to work on whatever the warnings were there's a long list of protocols and uh, we worked very hard with, with our training people to train all those people and uh, make sure that we you know we're not going to fall short and then the if it's running fairly full because you know usually we take alternate rooms that 50 percent is occupancy is already there but because we have separate entrances separate balconies strange places it was not built as a corridor hotel we can even go higher than that you know and people are comfortable you know people are very comfortable you, you you'll see you know at mealtime now you can't be wearing a mask and eating through it you know so th th that's the only time that you but still you are far away and the service, you don't touch the uh, spoons and ladles, so they serve you. Right. So you don't come into contact with any other guest. Will you touch your own plate and it's put away. So right. the, the risk is zero. You know? And then the first lot of people who came were so happy with the arrangements that they actually um, recommended to others. So what happens when you have good feedback 
is that it grows by geometrical progression. You know, one will tell ten, and ten will tell hundred. So then you don't need to sing your own praise in that sense. Right. Hey, yesterday I met a, a wonderful Bengali lady who said to me, um, "Your staff really have heart." And then I met an Assamese person who said to me, um, "This place has got soul." So I said, "Wow." To hear in the same within an hour, I heard two compliments. That, you know that, place, that the people have uh, heart and the place has soul. You can't ask for more. You have facilities like the swimming pool, the spa. So uh, we have fantastic facilities, but you know there, there, there is the regulation against it. Right. So for the while, it's just a beautiful swimming pool. You can sit on the edge of it. You can put your feet in it and drink beer, but you can't um, swim. And the spa is closed. Also for the same reasons, you know, right. because you come clo into close contact. Uh, is everything locally produced and sourced that you're using in your kitchens? Yes, because, you know, we are, we are in a vast uh, area which is, has uh, fantastic soil and very good level of water, which is rare for Rajasthan. So what doesn't grow in our kitchen gardens comes from uh, the other... Um, Farms, farms here and uh, you know then uh, the ones that don't use chemicals and so on so although you want to call it all these wonderful names uh, organic food and all that but we've, we've always had organic food before it, all this happened so for us for the villagers it's okay, okay. Yeah. do you think uh, the normalcy is going to return soon uh, I mean you've got to be a little bit of a prophet in this area and uh, pronounce no we, we we are doing extremely well so I, I you're not asking only about ourselves yeah? we, we, right. are, we are doing very well and the way it, it's picked up in, in you know in the month and a half uh, you know it's actually like really going up which means that the confidence in the people is because when, when they're asking or when they're posting something and saying they were really impressed with the uh, you know, the safety regulation, the sanitization and all that, then other people have the confidence to come. But about every, I mean, I'd like to say, on, because I am involved with tourism, you know, in, in, in nobody would like to say, let us flourish and let everybody fall in the gutter, you know. I would love that all the hotels do well, because on that depends the economy, on that depends the livelihood of thousands of people who've actually been put on the road. That's but our main advantage is that we are in the NCR. Our big three yes. forts are in the NCR. So you, you don't want to catch a flight, don't want to take a train. Just sit in your car two hours, you're here, two and a half hours, you're there. Yeah. So it's all good for everybody. Everybody, true, true. Thank you so much. Thank Pleasure. you.